Hello, it is Dave here, and today we're going to talk about a very specific and special dental care and oral care product that I use instead of conventional toothpaste. Um, I don't know if you can read this here, but it's called Dental Sidin. Dental Sidin. And I particularly use this product because I don't like using conventional toothpaste. Conventional toothpaste, to me, is full of toxins. It has fluoride, it has triclosan, it has E-numbers, if we're here in uh, Europe. Um, a whole bunch of things that you can't really pronounce on the label. And if you look at a tube of toothpaste, it actually tells you explicitly that if you consume more than you should, you need to get to the emergency room straight away. Now, I'm not a fan of putting anything in my mouth that might need me to go to the emergency room. Um, and so I'm really not a fan of conventional toothpaste. I've actually had a lot of problems with my mouth over the years, largely because I had a pretty nasty skiing accident when I was about 17. And my, uh, my teeth, the top teeth there were actually snapped. They weren't knocked out, they were snapped. So the nerve was dangling out like a little root. It was pretty gross, it was pretty painful. Uh, but also my lower teeth were damaged as well. And I've got a root canal in that tooth there, a root canal. And so I've had a lot of problems with um, oral health in terms of bacterial growth and things like that. So I use a very specific toothpaste to make sure that the, the health of my mouth stays nice and balanced. What we've got to remember is that the mouth is the first part of the digestive system. So if we are trying to optimize digestive health and all the benefits that go along with that, Getting the mouth healthy is really important because you don't want to be swallowing bad bugs and you don't want a ton of inflammation and damaged tissue in your gums and what have you. And we have a, a, a very widespread and very important microbiome in the oral cavity. So lots and lots of microbes hanging around in there. Some of them are, or most of them are good. Some of them are bad. H. pylori can hang around in the mouth. Uh, Streptococcus pyogenes, which causes gum disease and, and gum bleeding, can hang around in there and, and overgrow if we're not careful. Even things like candida can overgrow. You've probably heard of oral thrush, which is where you get a thick white coating on your tongue. Pretty nasty condition. And when that microbiome goes out of balance, you can have mouth ulcers, you can have sore gums, bleeding gums, like I say, you can have really bad breath. And the oral health is also associated with things like otitis media, which is actually an infection of the middle ear, um, and also sinus infections as well, because the whole system up here is all connected like a tube network. So we've got to get the oral health optimized. Now, when I use this particular product, I use it most days, if not every day. I really enjoy making homemade toothpaste, but the problem with homemade toothpaste is I'm traveling around a lot to do seminars and, and teaching and what have you, I can't take, or it's a lot harder for me to take homemade toothpaste using things like coconut oil and what have you around with me. So I use the dental siding. How do I use it? Very simple. It's just like a normal toothpaste. Take the cap off. Pump a little bit of this particular product here onto the toothbrush like I would normally. And then what I would do, I'm not going to do it now, but what I would do is just brush my toothpaste normally. Now there's something else that I do. Sometimes... I also add in this product, which I'm going to talk about in a separate video, but it has some essential oils in it that help to add to the effect of the dental siding. So what is actually in the dental siding that makes it so special? Well, first of all, it doesn't contain anywhere near the same level of these toxins that conventional toothpaste does. Um, and one of the things it's really, really good at is killing off bad bugs and helping to rebalance the microbiome in the, in the oral cavity. Um, Things like um, lavender and mint essential oils, and there are antimicrobial herbs in this product as well that help to cleanse out the bad guys that shouldn't really be there and leave your mouth feeling nice and clean and fresh and, you know, sweetening up your breath and what have you. One of the other things that, that both of these products have done or do that I've just shown you, but particularly the dental side in for the purposes of this video, is it helps to break down biofilms. What are biofilms? Well, if you've ever seen dental plaque or a TV ad that shows you a cartoon of dental plaque, dental plaque itself is a, um, a biofilm and it's where microbes build structures around themselves that act like cocoons or um, shields 
that stop the immune system getting in and knocking them out. So it's almost like they build little houses around themselves to protect themselves. And these oils and herbs help to break down the biofilms, kill off the bad bugs and keep everything in balance. So the benefits of using this toothpaste uh, regularly are basically that you'll have a fresher, better smelling mouth because you'll be knocking out the bad bugs. It'll reduce gum inflammation and gum bleeding and just give you a much healthier mouth. It'll also knock out oral candida as well and give you a nice pink tongue instead of sort of the whitey yellowy coating on the tongue that so many people have when they have digestive issues. I think it's worth mentioning just before we wrap up that number one, bad oral health, poor oral hygiene has been associated with other problems in the body as well. Some studies have indicated that the, the poorer the oral hygiene is, the greater the risk of cardiovascular disease, things like heart attacks and what have you. I don't think we are confident enough to say there's a direct cause and effect between what's going on in the mouth and the uh, cardiovascular system, but there's a very strong association to poor oral health and poor cardiovascular health. The other thing that I wanted to say is, of course, we can't expect miracles from just a single product. You know, if you have issues in your mouth or the general digestive tract, it's not because you have a dental sidin deficiency, right? Dental sidin's only been on the market a very short space of time, and people have been having these problems for many, many decades, in fact, throughout time. So we don't get these problems because of um, a, a deficiency in a particular supplement or product. So these supplements and products work best when you use them alongside a general health, diet, lifestyle program that is designed to optimize the function of not only the mouth, but the entire digestive tract and indeed the whole body. If you're interested in uh, following such a program, pretty much everything I've learned over the last 20 years of working in the health and fitness industry, I've, I've put onto um, a members platform called the Digestive Reset Plan. It teaches you what to eat, what not to eat, what to do with your lifestyle in terms of bedtime and all of these different things that support your immune system and your circadian rhythm. It teaches you which supplements to use and when. And we have weekly support calls to make sure that you get your questions answered when you want them to be answered. So I just wanna wrap up now by saying, massively important to keep your oral health optimized. Conventional toothpaste is not great because of all the chemicals in it, but you can use herbal alternatives with more naturally orientated ingredients that knock out the bad bugs, bring the biofilms down, and make sure that that oral cavity is, is kept under check in terms of inflammation, give you fresh breath, keep all the, uh, the nasty signs and symptoms of poor oral health away. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Be sure to look out for other product reviews that I've done, and I will catch you next time. Thanks.